All right, so now let's talk about SQL tables because they are really important in the databases and understanding them, it's gonna help you to write better SQL statements. The problem with that, we have around 380 different databases and they use different terms in the documentations. Another aspect is that we use different terms in different area forks. For example, if you are a database developer, you will start using terms like tables, columns, rows. But if you are in the university, you will hear about relations, tuples. And as data modular, you will start saying entity and attributes. That's why I would like to give you like a short overview of those terms to make it simpler. All right, so now we have here a very simple example of SQL tables. In our tutorial database, we have one table called customers. This table contains all the data about our customers. Another name that we have for tables is objects, entity, and relation. Okay, next we have columns. Columns are the vertical group of cells that are describing one type of information. In our example, we have four columns. Customer ID, first name, last name, and country. Each column has two informations. The column name, for example, here we have the first name and the values inside it, like Maria, John, and so on. All right, so next we have rows. Rows are the horizontal group of cells that are describing one individual topic, and they are related to each other as well. So for example, here we have the customer ID 2 belongs to John, and John lives in the USA. In this table, we have five rows. Another names for rows are records and tuples. Now, the intersections between columns and rows, this piece of data, we call it a cell. Another names, we have data items, column value, it is one single value. Another example is number four, or Germany, or George, and so on. The last component we have is the primary key. The primary key is a column or set of columns that can uniquely identify each row in the table, and they could be used as a link within other tables. In our example, we have the customer ID, and this is our primary key. You can see it has unique value for each customer. Another name for it called key fields. All right, that's what the main component of the SQL tables. All right, so that was the concept and the main components of SQL tables. And next, we're gonna start talking about the different types of SQL commands. And if you like this video and my work and you want to support the channel, then subscribe, like, and comment. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.